Food truck owners say the rules in Virginia Beach are eating away at them. They're fighting for a change in regulations to give them equal footing with restaurants. Reporter Megan Perrier is here to tell us whether food truck owners are closer to getting what they want. David, food truck owners have been working to change the laws for quite some time, and tonight they got one step closer to success. In Virginia Beach, food is a big deal. Our eventual goal is always to open up a location where people can come and get tacos all the time versus chasing us around. Jacob Harver is the proud owner of Bro's Fish Tacos, but it started on wheels. Well, we didn't want to get out of the food truck game because we like doing the private parties and the catering and being out in the community and you know doing the big festivals. Harver only owns one food truck now because he says the rules in Virginia Beach are really restrictive. There are zoned areas where you can go and set up, I believe, to you know serve to the public. You can't just drive into a neighborhood or any location you want and just set up and sell to the public. He also says it's pretty expensive. Yeah. Our business license costs us $300, whereas a restaurant, it costs 50 bucks. And because a food truck falls under a peddler's license in Virginia Beach, each person who works in the food truck has to get a background check. That's $50 a person. And that's not all. You're paying the health department for your permit. On top of that, when you're out there selling, you've still got to pay sales tax and meals tax and all that. Probably the big thing that why I wanted to take on this ordinance was trying to get people to feel better represented and have a easier time opening a business in Virginia Beach. Thursday night, Councilwoman Jessica Abbott tried to help cut down some of that red tape. A lot of the food trucks that were here tonight started as trucks and have gone into brick and mortar. So if we want to see the city moving forward as a whole, we I think we need to have a creative way that people can create new businesses. She brought food truck owners and restaurant owners to the same table to talk it out. They agreed to eliminate the peddler's license, which means no background checks. They also agreed to drop the business license from $300 to 50. And those proposals have food truck owners excited. It was a win-win-win for, for the city. It was a win for the food trucks and it was a win for the restaurant association. Now, this is not a done deal yet. The group still has to work with the Restaurant Association to establish where these trucks can park, and Virginia Beach City Council still has to vote and approve the new resolutions on February 19th. I'm Megan Perrier, 13 News Now.